गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट सायरा वेलकम बैक टू द मैथ्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस आफ्टर योर एग्जाम्स आई होप यू हैव ऑल डन वेल इन योर एग्जाम्स लेट्स कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर सेवन फ्रैक्शंस लेट्स हैव अ क्विक रिकैप ऑफ व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन फ्रैक्शंस चिल्ड्रन व्हाट इज अ फ्रैक्शन अ फ्रैक्शन इज अ नंबर दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ अ होल द होल मे बी अ सिंगल ऑब्जेक्ट और अ ग्रुप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स which is divided into equal parts fractions can be represented using numbers figures or words here we have shown a few fractions first one it represents half of the whole 1 upon 2 second one the shaded part is 1/4 third one is 1/3 1 upon 3 and the last one is 3/4 or 3 upon 4 the shaded part is 3 upon 4 of the whole what are proper fractions when numerator of the fraction is less than the denominator then it is called a proper fraction we have an example here 3 upon 5 and what is an improper fraction when numerator is greater than denominator then the fraction is improper fraction for example 20 upon 3 and what are mixed fractions mixed fractions are a combination of whole and a part improper fractions can be represented as mixed fraction the quotient becomes the whole and the remainder upon divisor is the part so mixed fraction is equal to quotient remainder upon divisor so the improper fraction 20 upon 3 can be represented as 6 2 upon 3 6 is the whole part and 2 upon 3 is the fractional part so this is a mixed fraction now coming to the next topic what are equivalent fractions children look at these pictures carefully in the first figure we have half of the the figure is divided into two equal parts and only the one part of the figure is shaded which represents one out of two or one upon two in the second one the whole is divided into four and two parts are shaded so the fraction is 2 upon 4 and in third one the figure is divided into eight equal parts and four are shaded so the fraction is 4 upon 8 children the fractions 1 upon 2 2 upon 4 and 4 upon 8 they may look different but they are equal fractions they represent same part of the whole so the fractions which have same value even though they may look different are called equivalent fractions in other words the equivalent fractions they represent same part of the whole so 1 upon 2 2 upon 4 and 4 upon 8 they represent 4 upon 8 they represent the same uh, fraction of the whole and they are called equivalent fractions now how do we uh, we have a few more examples of equivalent fractions here like 4 upon 8 4 upon 8 is equal to 1 upon 2 4 upon 8 represents half of the figure as is 1 upon so 1 upon 2 and 4 upon 8 are equivalent fractions similarly 3 upon 4 and 6 upon 8 they represent same part of the whole so they are equivalent fraction similarly 2 upon 3 is equivalent to 6 upon 9 4 upon 12 is equivalent to 2 upon 6 and 1 upon 5 is equivalent to 2 upon 10 now how do we find the equivalent fraction of a given fraction to find an equivalent fraction of the given fraction we multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by same number so what is the first method the first method Uh, to get an equivalent fraction of a given fraction is by multiplying both the numerator 
and the denominator by the same num number. For example, if we have a fraction 1 upon 3. So, to get its equivalent fraction, we multiply the, uh, the numerator 1 by 2 and also the denominator 3 by 2. And what do we get? We get 2 upon 6. So, 2 upon 6 is equivalent fraction of 1 upon 3. Similarly, we can get more equivalent fractions of 1 upon 3 by multiplying both the numerator and divide, uh, the denominator by the same number. Like we have shown here, here we have multiplied both the numerator and denominator by 3 and what do we get? We get 3 upon 9. So, 3 upon 9 is another equivalent fraction of 1 upon 3. Similarly, if we multiply both the uh, numerator and denominator by 4, we get 4 upon 12 which is another equivalent fraction of 1 upon 3. So, this way by multiplying both the numerator and denominator by the same number, we can get the equivalent fraction of the given fraction. Second method is to get the equivalent fraction of a given fraction, we can multi, uh, divide both the numerator and div, uh, the denominator by the same number. For example, if we have an equivalent fraction like 12 upon 15. So, to get its equivalent fraction, we can divide its numerator and the denominator by the same number. We have divided both the numerator and divide, uh, the denominator by 3 and what do we get? We get 4 upon 5. So, 4 upon 5 is the equivalent fraction of 12 upon 15. Let us look at one more example. Find the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 5 with numerator 6. So, here we have a fraction 2 upon 5. So, how do we get the numerator 6 here? We get the numerator 6 by multiplying the numerator 2 by 3, is not it? That means, we have to uh, multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 to get uh, an equivalent fraction which has the uh, numerator 6. So, here we have done both the numerator and the denominator have been multiplied by 3 and what do we get? We get 6 upon 15. So, 6 upon 15 is the required equivalent fraction. Here we have more examples. Find 3 equivalent fractions of 1 upon 2. How do we get? We can multiply both the numerator and the denominator of 1 upon 2 by different numbers and we can get their equivalent fraction. Here in the first example 1 and 2 both the numerator and uh, denominator have been multiplied by 2 and we get 2 upon 4. Similarly, if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 here. So, what do we get? We get 3 upon 6. If we multiply both the uh, numerator and denominator by 4, what do we get? We get 4 upon 8. So, these are uh, the equivalent fraction of fractions of 1 upon 2. 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6 and 4 upon 8 are the equivalent fractions of 1 upon 2. Now, one more example here. Find the equivalent fraction of 18 upon 27 with denominator 9. So, how do we get a denominator 9 in this case? If we divide the denominator 27 by 3, we get the denominator 9. So that means, we have to uh, divide the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 3. So, what do we get? If we uh, divide the numerator 18 by 3, we get 6 and the denominator when we divide 3, we get 9. So, 6 upon 9 is the fraction th uh, which we are getting. So, the equivalent fraction of 18 upon 27 with denominator 9 is 6 upon 9. So, this is how we get the equivalent fraction fractions of a given fraction. Now, what is the simplest form of a fraction 
and how to get it how to find it a fraction is said to be in its simplest form or lowest form when uh, if its uh, numerator and denominator have uh, no common factor except one so how do we get it we get it by uh, the by finding the hcf of the numerator and denominator and then dividing both of them by the hcf so to find the equivalent fraction which is in simplest form we have to find the hcf of the numerator and denominator and then divide both of them by the hcf let's understand this by taking this example so what will be the simplest form of the fraction 36 upon 24 we find that it is 3 upon 2 how do we get it the hcf of 36 and 24 is 12 so if we divide both the numerator and the uh, denominator by 12 we get 3 upon 2 so 3 upon 2 is the simplest form or the lowest equivalent fraction of the fraction 36 upon 24 one more interesting fact about the equivalent fraction fractions is the cross product of two equivalent fractions are always equal let's see how here we have two fractions 1 upon 3 and 3 upon 9 are they equivalent to find this we have to cross multiply the denominator and the numerator and denominator of the two fractions so first well, we multiply 1 upon sorry 1 and 9 and we get 9 then we multiply 3 into 3 this is cross multiplication and we get 9 so the cross product of two uh, fractions are equal so these two fractions are called equivalent fractions similarly in the second example if we multiply if we cross multiply 4 and 35 we get 140 and if we cross multiply 28 and 5 we get 140 so we can find that both the uh, cross products are equal that means both the fractions are equal they are equivalent let's find out in the next example whether the fractions are equivalent or not if we multiply 1 and 16 if we cross multiply 1 and 16 what do we get we get 16 isn't it and if we cross multiply 4 and 4 what do we get 4 multiplied by 4 we get 16 so in both the cases the cross products are 16 so the two fractions are called equivalent fractions in the next example the two fractions are 2 upon 3 and 10 upon 15 so we multiply 2 and 15 and 10 and 3 so if we multiply 2 and 15 what do we get we get 30 and if we multiply 10 and 3 what do we get we again get 30 which means both the fractions are equivalent fractions so, so this method helps us to find whether to give two fractions are equivalent or not based on these learnings let's start solving the problems of exercise 7.3 here we have a pictorial representation of fractions we have to write the fractions for them and decide whether all the fractions are equivalent so if we see the first figure here how the picture uh, the whole is divided into two equal parts and one part is shaded so the fraction is 1 upon 2 in the next one the whole is divided into four equal parts and two parts are shaded that means it is 2 upon 4 which is equal to 1 upon 2 in the third one here we have three uh, parts out of the whole 
out of the 6 parts shaded. So, the fraction is 3 upon 6 and the fraction will uh, be 1 upon 2 in its lowest form and in the last one 4 are shaded out of 8. So, again it is 4 upon 8 that means it is 1 upon 2 that means the all these fractions are equivalent. Here in the first figure 4 out of 12 balls are shaded. So, the fraction is 4 upon 12 means it is 1 upon 3. In the next one 3 are shaded out of 9, 3 upon 9 is the fraction again it is 1 upon 3. In the third one here 2 out of 6 are shaded 2 upon 6 and the fraction in lowest form will be 1 upon 3. Here we can see the picture that 1 is shaded out of 3 so the fraction is 1 upon 3 and in the last one it is 6 out of 15 that means 6 by uh, 6 upon 15 and the fraction is 2 upon 5 in the lowest term. So, all the fractions here are not equal they are not equivalent they do not represent same part of the whole. Now, in this question we have to write the fractions and pair up the equivalent fraction from each row. Let us find out the fractions of the figures given figures. In the first one A it is 1 upon 2. In B 4 out of 6 are shaded. So, it is 4 upon 6 that means it is 2 upon 3. Then in third one it is 3 upon 9. 3 out of 9 are shaded and in the lowest form it is 1 upon 3. Then in this one fourth one D 2 upon 8 2 out of 8 are shaded that means 2 upon 8 and what will be its lowest, lowest form lowest equivalent term it will be 1 upon 4 and in the last one E it is 3 out of 4 that means 3 upon 4. Now let us find out the fractions in the lower row. Here in this one 6 out of 18 shaded that means 6 upon 18 which is equal to 1 upon 3. Here we have in the second one 4 out of 8 4 upon 8 which is equal to half or 1 upon 2 and 12 upon 16 is equal to 3 upon 4 then 8 out of 12 shaded means 8 upon 12 which is equal to 2 upon 3 and last one 4 out of 16 shaded 4 upon 16 is equal to 1 upon 4. Now let us match them first one a 1 upon 2 is this one equal equivalent to this one second one then 2 upon 3 this one is equal to this one 8 upon 12 then third one uh, c 3 upon 9 is equal to 1 upon 3 is equivalent to 6 upon 18 then this one D 2 upon 8 which is equal to 1 upon 4 will be equal to the last one 4 upon 16 and E 3 upon 4 is equivalent to the third figure 3 upon 4 or 12 upon 16. Moving on to the next question replace the box in each of the following by the correct number. Here we have two fractions one blank is given. So, 2 upon 7 is equal to 8 upon dash. So, we have to find the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 7 such that the numerator is 8. We can understand we will get the numerator 8 by multiplying 2 by 4 that means we have to multiply the both the numerator and the denominator here by 4. So, here we have done this if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 what do we get? We get 8 upon 28. So, 8 upon 28 is the equivalent fraction of 2 upon 7. So, the box will be filled by 28. 
next question phi upon t to sorry phi upon 8 is equal equivalent to 10 upon dash so if you observe here again how do we get 10 as numerator we multiply 5 by 2 and then we get 10 that means we have to multiply this fraction by 2 both the numerator and the denominator have to be multiplied by 2 if we multiply them by 2 what do we get we get 10 upon 16 so the box will be filled by the number 16 16 so 10 upon 16 is the equivalent fraction of 5 upon 8 next problem d 45 upon 16 is equal to 15 upon dash so if we see the look at the uh, numerator we can see that uh, we get the numerator 15 by dividing 45 by five, uh, by 3 isn't it so we have to divide both the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by 3 so if we divide both the numerator and denominator by 3 what do we get we get 15 upon 20 15 upon 20 is the uh, equivalent fraction of 45 upon 16 uh, 60 which has the numerator as 15 so the blank will be filled by the number 20 coming to question number 4 find the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5 having denominator 20 so here we have a condition we have to find the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5 but the denominator should be 20 how do we get denominator 20 here if we multiply 5 by 4 we get the denominator 20 that means we have to multiply this fraction 3 upon 5 by 4 the numerator and the denominator both have to be multiplied by 4 so if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 what do we get we get 12 upon 20 so the box will be filled by 12 12 is uh, upon 20 is the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5 with denominator 20 next question find the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5 having numerator 9 here we have to find equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5 such that the numerator is 9 how do we get numerator 9 we get numerator 9 by multiplying 3 by 3 isn't it so how do we get 9 we get by multiplying 3 by 3 that means we have to multiply this fraction the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 3 so you have here we have shown this if you multiply both the numerator and denominator by 3 what do we get we get the fraction 9 upon 15 so 9 upon 15 is the equivalent fraction of 3 upon 5 with the numerator 9 so the box will be filled by the number 15 moving on to the next problem find equivalent fraction of 36 upon 48 with numerator 9 so how do we get uh, numerator 9 we get it by dividing 36 by 4 isn't it that means we have to divide the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 4 we have done this here what do we get we get 9 upon 12 so 9 upon 12 is the equivalent fraction of 36 upon 48 with numerator 9 so the box will be filled by the number 12 next problem find the equivalent fraction of 36 upon 48 with denominator 4 so we have to find the equivalent fraction of 36 upon 48 such that the denominator is 4 how do we get denominator 4 here we get the denominator 4 by dividing the uh, number 48 by 12 isn't it that means we have to divide both the numerator and denominator of this fraction by 12 we have done this here so what do we get we get 3 upon 4 
So, 3 upon 4 is the equivalent fraction of 36 upon 48 by uh, with denominator 4. So, the box will be filled be by the number 3. Children with this problem, I end this session. We will solve more problems of this exercise and learn more topics in our coming session. Thank you.